hello and um, today I bring to you a clothing haul and this one I'm actually super excited about because I haven't really unwrapped it all um, but I'm gonna do it in two parts so first is these lovely boxes that Mr. Postman just brought it's literally like Christmas because I kind of know what's in it but I don't really and some more goodies and then part two is going to be a thrifting haul from what I brought yesterday when I went round the little charity shops. So, first up. Best time of day is postman delivery time. Okay, so I haven't unwrapped these, so let's do this together. It literally feels like Christmas. Um, actually, I'm gonna start off with this one because it's rainbow and calling my name. I just got this this morning and how Olivia is this? Like the perfect winter coat ever because it's rainbow and it's from Glamorous which they actually sell on ASOS I think. This is the rainbow coat on and I am in love. Okay so let's look at this big box. I'm gonna run through this super quickly because you guys don't want to slow ramble and Okay, so sorry about the noise. First off, I kind of know what this is because they're a limited edition Converse, and I wanted these for ages, but they're platform and leather. But look at this. Look at those. I got mine off Forzieri, which is like an online retail place. Um, so they still have them in stock. Amazing. Oh, this one I am so excited about. Okay, little sneak peek. I am obsessed with Versace, as you can see. And also, I'm obsessed with rings. So. I just literally got the most mega ring in the whole entire world. So it's like Look at this. Okay. This one I am super excited about because I am one of those people who literally cannot have a, like a handbag because I leave it everywhere. I would lose my head if it wasn't attached and that's what I like with handbags. I literally leave it anywhere. Like I'll go and sit down and I've left it and I come home and I'm like, oh, it just, yeah, I'm, an, I'm a nightmare. So I really, really wanted to get myself a really nice backpack. I ordered a mini one that I can like take everywhere and this is my new baby so excited to wear this um so it's mcm obviously but oh, it's just like the perfect size okay and i think just one more item in here for my delivery this morning this one i actually forgot about okay everybody knows i am a sneakerhead or like obsessed with rainbow sweaters sneakers and crazy trousers so may have got two pairs of trainers. this is actually high tech which is a one i haven't heard of but these are a thing of beauty they're like utility boots but white and i'm so excited to wear these these are going to be worn with my utility green jumpsuit for fashion week so one more thing that mr postman brought me this morning a little zara goodie bag and i can't even open the bag i don't know how this is gonna work on me but how cool are these jeans they are snake print jeans okay i told you i'm like crazy pants lady so anytime i see a crazy pair of pants i cannot resist my favorite charity shops in south kensington are on butte street and number one is 
Okay, these are kind of extreme. Okay, I just found Acne Studio Brogues. Prada, Moo Moo. Actually, can't believe it. It's huge, but I'm obsessed. Ready to see what I got. I'm so excited to show you. Best. Charity shop. Okay, so I bought my bag of hoodies from thrifting yesterday, and I'm a bit of a sucker for a designer. I lo I like my favourites are Burberry, Off White, Balenciaga, three favourites, but can't really afford them. So, life hack by Liv is check out the charity shops in the poshest areas in the city you live in. So in London, South Kensington, Notting Hill, Covent Garden is good. I checked these out as you just saw and I'm so excited to show you what I picked up. Okay, so number one, I could not resist. So yes, if you are wondering, I got the Burberry trench coat because I've always wanted one with the full on lining and I, as soon as I saw it, I was like, oh my god, I cannot, I cannot leave this shop without it. But it was in the man section, so pro tip by me, if you're in a charity shop, check out the man section first, especially for the t-shirts and the sweaters, and obviously the coats. It's way too big for me, but it has a tie waist, and I'm going to make it work, I'm going to make it work. So I'm going to be on a high for like the rest of my life with that one. I was a bit naughty here because I found three mega pairs of shoes and I'm kind of proud of myself that I didn't walk out with three pairs but I did walk out with two but my top favourite is these Acne Studio Brogues okay I don't know how much these would cost originally but I got them for £25 I think leather brogues from acne for 25 pounds can you believe it all because i went to a charity shop okay and then my second pair i had to like they're not like what i would normally wear but i'm thinking fashion week these would look so good i got the mew 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 mules that's really hard to say but i got these and 30 pounds i mean still not cheap but for mew mew mules i'm not gonna say that okay don't i'm not gonna try for the mew mew shoes 30 pounds literally i i can't why buy new when you can go to a charity shop and buy these super super cool shoes okay so two pairs of shoes burberry coat i also got these from the second charity shop they are i don't know where they originally are from but they were 12 pounds velvet kind of jogging trousers but they're super thick and like i'm obsessed with athleisure wears that's how you say it where i can wear tracky bums but also dress them up because that's like the best of both worlds and if I can wear something as comfortable as this but not look like an absolute slob then it's yes from me and velvet I'm obsessed so over and out from me and my acne shoes I am going to be living on a high forever and ever and ever 